Hello everyone, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. Let's talk about track heights. Recently in the 5.78 update, they added the ability to lock track heights. So I have a couple example projects where I've been using this over the past week or so, and I'm finding it pretty helpful. I, I didn't really think much of the feature until I tried it, and I think it's great to have. So when I want to change my track heights, very rarely am I using a drag motion. I can click here and drag it, but that's not the way that I tend to do it. Uh, you could also use this little tiny plus and minus button here, but I'm not a fan of that either because you have to do it from a very specific place. For me, what's most convenient is using my mouse wheel. So the way that I have it set up, and I've explained this in another video, the zooming and scrolling video, which will be a link in the description, is to do alt shift mouse wheel, and that will change all track heights. And if I do command shift, it will just do the selected track. So if I select these three tracks and make them bigger, it's just those three tracks getting bigger. I could also press the tilde key and that will minimize other tracks and expand the current track. And it kind of toggles between two different zoom heights until we use the mouse wheel again. So just to recap with those actions that I've just shown you, the last one was this action, expand to select the track height, minimize others, alt shift mouse wheel, that is zoom vertically. The other one was command shift, adjust select the track heights. So now let's look at that new feature lock track heights. Where I found this to be most helpful is with my folder tracks. So in most of my projects, I have a bunch of tracks going through a few folders for gain staging, for uh, processing, uh, or just for organization. So these three tracks are not locked, but this track here is locked. And so it's always going to be this height. If I right click on the track, I have this option lock track height. And if I look in the view menu for track manager, there's a new column here for track heights. So once again, this is uh, this was added in 5.78 over the past weekend. You can lock the track heights here now. Now that all the tracks are locked, these are protected from mouse wheel and keyboard uh, resizing, uh, but we can still manually resize by dragging. So that's the first project. This is a podcast editing project. And this is a great layout for me. Um, I've always got my dialog folder kind of a, at a small size, and I've got my other ones fairly large. I switch over to another project. There's a video editing project, and I have some of these locked and some of them aren't. Um, so basically just like my folder tracks are always uh, locked. My main and transitions tracks uh, are always going to be the same height. And uh, yeah, my audio bus is going to be locked. And it's like a sample library editing project. I have my folders locked. Folders in, inside of folders are locked. And then the individual tracks where I have my audio, they are free to expand as needed. So there you go. That's how I like to zoom in my tracks vertically and how to lock tracks with the new feature added in Reaper 5.78. Hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks a lot for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Support the Reaper blog through Patreon. And visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.